Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Dell Latitude 7480, and I'm going to take you on a teardown or disassembly tour so you can cover most of the accessible components once you open this computer up. Hopefully, it can help you out with whatever project you're doing. So first things, guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to flip it over and access your bottom case screws. Now you have three screws here on the left, three on the right, and two near the center. Once you get all those screws out, you're going to take a small flat pry tool. I prefer plastic pry tools because they scratch less than metal. And you're going to go around the computer, around the seam, and pry the bottom case off of the computer. Be sure not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge and gently but firmly uh, be patient and go around even if you have to go around a couple times. But once you get that bottom case off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. One thing that I choose to do, guys, before doing anything inside a computer is I either remove or I unplug my battery. It just makes the computer safer to work on touching things. So the first thing I'll show you is how to unplug this battery. So here's your battery, and because we undid the screws in the bottom case, there are no screws holding in this battery. Those were the bottom case screws. So all that's left to take this up now is to grab this black pull tab on the battery plug right here and pull it straight up and out of the computer. That will unplug your battery, and your battery can then be removed. Okay, so after removing or unplugging your battery, we're safe to proceed deeper into the computer. As another side note, guys, when I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet go a long way to help you not damage anything in your computer. If you need help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, in addition to any replacement or upgrade parts for the Latitude 7480, including RAM, solid state drive, um, any other components. There'll be a link above, also below in the description that give you a list of all these replacement upgrade parts, um, as well as the tools needed to access them. Okay, so after the battery is removed, guys, we can proceed further into the computer. So first thing I'll show you guys, these are your two RAM ports right here, side by side. Most of you stock will only have one stick of RAM. Um, I believe this computer maxes out at 32 gigabytes of RAM. So that gives you two 16 sticks if you want to max out your RAM. And again, RAM options will be included in that list that I mentioned earlier. To access your RAM, guys, there's two spring-loaded metal arms on either side. You would gently pry those apart from each other, away from the RAM stick, and that releases your RAM. In most cases, the RAM stick will even pop up a little bit, and then you can remove it. To put it back in, you would slide it back into these ports, and as you notice, there's a long end and a short end so you can't get the RAM in the wrong way. So you can get it in there, make sure it's flush, press down right in the middle, and these two arms will grab onto it and secure it in place. Uh, next, I'll show you your solid state drive over here. It's held in by a single screw down bottom, and then once you undo that screw, it unplugs from this port. There's really no max storage size I, that you can put in here, so that's kind of up to you uh, what you want to upgrade that to. Uh, over here, guys, this is your Wi-Fi card. It's held in by a single screw there. After removing that screw, it will remove this metal guard right there. That will allow you to unplug or unsnap, rather, these antenna wire, the black and white antenna wire. They just snap right on top. And once you've done that, you can slide the Wi-Fi card out of this port, much like the solid-state drive. This is your CMOS battery over here. It's held on by just some double-sided tape. So if you're replacing that, you can snap that right off. And then you can unplug it from this port here. As usual, don't pull on wires if you can help it. Use your fingernails on either one of those grips or a pry tool or some pliers, and you can get it out that way. Uh, side note, that will also reset your BIOS settings. If you unplug this battery for 30 seconds, that'll reset your, your BIOS settings. These are your speakers down here. This is your right speaker and your left speaker. They're connected to each other by this cord that runs this way. And then it plugs in right next to your CMOS battery plug right there. Same exact kind of plug, just a little larger. Uh, that may even make it easier to grab with your fingernails if you need to get that out. Up here is your LCD cable right there. And that's blocked off by another metal guard that comes up by this screw here. 
And this is your power jack over here, plugged into your motherboard. Uh, this is a little sturdier wire connection, so you may be able to get away pulling that out, or you can just jimmy it side by side to get that out. Or right here, guys, in, in the middle, it's hard to see on, on my photo, but you can see it in your computer. You can put a pry tool right here and then slide that out with some force. Uh, last thing I'll show you guys is your fan and your heatsink assembly here. The fan plugs into the motherboard here, very weak wires. So again, don't grab the wires, uh, but that's kind of the same plug as, as you see down here with your speakers and CMOS battery. A uh, couple screws right there to release your fan. If you need to um, blow that out, vacuum it out, there's your vent. You can also clean that out. And then over here, guys, your four screws over your CPU for your heatsink assembly. Another side note, guys, um, if you're here to reapply thermal paste, you'll see the thermal paste is kind of all over the place. It's dried out. If that's why you're here, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. It's a quick tutorial on how to reapply thermal paste the correct way um, after, of course, cleaning off all the old stuff. So there's your teardown video, guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, it, it was quick, but I hope I hit all the main components that you may be in here trying to access. And again, if you need any help with tools, supplies, or replacement parts, check out that link. Also, guys, if you had any questions, I have some FAQs below in the description that I update on, on all my videos as time goes on. It could save you some time waiting for an answer. If you don't see your question there, feel free to leave me a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.